If you're a seasoned Stardew Valley player and have yet to dive into the world of modding, then this video is for you. Ever since I started streaming Stardew Valley on TikTok, many of you have been curious about the mods that I use or which ones I recommend for those of you looking to delve into the world of modding. So I wanted to make an up-to-date, definitive quality of life mod list tailored especially for newcomers. And even if you are familiar with quality of life mods, there may be some on this list that you might not have heard about yet. These mods are designed to enhance your gameplay without crossing the line into a territory of feeling too cheaty striking the perfect balance between improving your game experience and maintaining the game's core integrity. I've compiled a list of 11 quality of life mods that will for sure make your time playing Stardew Valley much more enjoyable. Which says a lot because Stardew Valley is already so enjoyable on its own. All of the mods that we're going to be talking about today are available on Nexus Mods, with the exception of one. I'm also considering making this kind of video a series on my channel, whether it's exploring aesthetic mod packs that transform the visual aspects of the game, diving into quirky and unconventional weird mods, or even continuing to enhance your gameplay with more quality of life mods. So be sure to leave suggestions in the comments for what type of modded Stardew content collections you would like to see. And just a heads up, before we get into the meat and potatoes here, I wanted to clarify that this video is not intended to be a comprehensive tutorial on how to install mods. I will only be showcasing some of my favorite ones. However, if you find yourself motivated to start modding after this video, you can find a link in the description to a comprehensive tutorial on how to begin modding Stardew Valley. Before we get into these mods, I I just wanted to let you guys know that I have partnered up with the official Lo-Fi Girl to give you all 10% off of any merchandise purchase with code MRIZ with five Zs at checkout. This new Lo-Fi Girl backpack is my favorite piece from their shop. It's super high quality, has so many pockets to keep your things all nice and organized, and it's stylish as hell. Use the link in my bio to shop around their website to either find a gift for someone for the holidays or even just to treat yourself. By using code MRIZ with five Zs at checkout, I receive a little kickback, so it's a great way to support the channel and also get something for yourself in return. Thanks so much and let's get back to the video. The Look Up Anything mod developed by Pathos Child is a game changer for Stardew Valley players who are tired of repeatedly consulting the Stardew Valley wiki for various tidbits of information. Whether it's the favorite gifts of specific villagers, the exact harvest date for a particular crop, the remaining lifespan of your fences, or the reason behind your animal's unhappiness, this mod offers a comprehensive solution to your information needs. With a simple press of the F1 key, a wealth of real-time information about whatever object or entity is under your cursor will be revealed. This works on things across the entire game world. Items in your inventory, the calendar, various game menus, the in-game shops, and much more. You'll no longer have to open a new browser, search for the information you seek, and navigate through multiple tabs. Instead, you can streamline your in-game experience, making your gameplay smoother and more immersive than ever. One of the most useful parts of this mod, in my opinion, is when you look up information on a villager and it lists their loved and liked items, the UI box highlights items in green if you have that item on you, or in black if you have the item in a chest somewhere, and if you don't have the item at all, the text will be grayed out. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or a newcomer in Pelican Town, this mod offers an invaluable resource for making the most out of your gameplay. It is a game changer to have this wealth of information at your fingertips. The next quality of life mod on our list is To Do by J Taylor One. This incredibly punny mod adds an in-game to-do list, and it is essential for players who always say that they're gonna do something, then end up getting distracted and forgetting what they wanted to do in the first place. Or when you come back to an old save file and can't remember what the heck you were even up to. All you have to do is press a configurable hotkey, defaulted as L for list, and boom! You can now start setting yourself little reminders like collect more wood, upgrade coop, complete billboard quests, and so on. After typing in your reminders and pressing escape, your to-do list will display in an overlay in the top left corner of your screen. You can even set up reminders to show up on specific days, weather, seasons, and even weeks. So say I wanted to set a reminder to buy a sprinkler from Krobus every Friday. I simply type the reminder, uncheck every day except for Friday, press enter, and we're all set. We will now see a little notification every Friday to buy a sprinkler from Krobus. And there are other little organization settings in this menu as well to make your list aesthetically pleasing and easy to comprehend. A header item can help you organize your list by acting as a header or separator in the list. Repeating items have their doneness reset at the end of each day, when they were marked as done. An item visibility can be set based on weather, day of the week, and season.
And up next on our Stardew Valley mod list is Visible Fish created by Shekurika. This is another one of those mods that makes it so you don't have to constantly cross-reference the wiki to figure out which fish can be caught in specific locations or seasons. As this mod offers a user-friendly visual solution that simplifies your fishing adventures. And this mod also works on other modded locations, like for example, Stardew Valley Expanded. And it's not just a functional addition. It also adds a delightful visual dimension to the game, enhancing your immersion in the world of Stardew Valley. This mod uses fish tank animation sprites, so you will only be able to see fish that have those, which is the majority of them. This mod offers a range of configuration options, allowing you to fine tune your fishing experience to match your preference. You have the power to adjust settings such as the maximum number of fish displayed in the water, the density of fish populations, and even whether you'd like to see additional elements like treasure, trash, shadows, and etc. Now let's explore another quality of life mod that's bound to make your life in the world of Stardew Valley even smoother and more convenient. The non-destructive NPC mod thoughtfully crafted by Second Rakuto. If you're a player who likes to place chests conveniently around the map, or if you simply love to decorate around the world of Stardew Valley, you're likely familiar with the constant concern of inadvertently blocking an NPC's usual path. In the vanilla game, any object in their way is at risk of being obliterated, which can be a real headache. With the non-destructive NPC's mod at your disposal, you can finally put those worries to rest. If an object gets placed in an NPC's pathway, they will simply stop, glare at it for a few seconds, and then continue through it, leaving it fully intact. It's the exact same behavior as if you were to place your character in their paths and refuse to move. This mod is also great for players who have expansive mods like Stardew Valley Expanded or Ridgeside, because these mods often introduce new characters, alter the existing schedules, and rearrange map layouts, making it challenging to predict safe places for your objects. With this mod, you can confidently adorn the townscape with decor and utility items without any apprehension. Up next is my personal all-time favorite mod for Stardew Valley that I think is an absolute necessity for PC players, UI Info Suite 2. This is the only mod in today's video that is not accessible on Nexus mods. The original UI Info Suite mod that can be found on Nexus mods is outdated and does not work. This mod provides a plethora of information about the things around you. It's designed to help you be aware of what's going on without feeling like you're cheating the game. The current features of this mod includes icons in the top right corner of the game's UI that represents the current day's luck, if the traveling merchant is in town, NPC birthdays, Queen of Sauce episodes, tool upgrade information, whether it's going to rain tomorrow, and more. It also displays experience point gains over your character, a dynamic level experience bar that changes based on your current tool or location, more accurate heart levels, more information on items that you hover over, including items that are still needed for bundles, icons over animals that need to be pet or cared for, crop type and days until harvest on mouse over, sprinkler and scarecrow ranges, and more. You will even have access to the town calendar, billboard quests, and NPC locations directly from your inventory. With UI Info Suite 2, your gameplay experience becomes much more informed and efficient by ensuring you get the most out of your gameplay each day. From tracking your character's progress to ensuring you never miss a birthday or a special TV cooking recipe, UI Info Suite 2 is an absolute must-have mod in my opinion. When I'm playing Stardew Valley on my Nintendo Switch, this is definitely the mod that I miss the most. Up next, we have Horse Overhaul by Golden Revolver, a mod that gives your Stardew Valley horse a major upgrade, making it faster, more useful, and thinner to fit through narrow pathways across the map. This mod combines, balances, and expands features of a few different horse mods, like Pony Weight Loss Program, Horse Squeeze, Secretariat, Upgraded Horse, and Faster Horse. And the creator of this mod has detailed all of the features that we can find in Horse Overhaul, stating, Feature 1, Thin Horse. Pony Weight Loss Program was a hugely successful mod, even if its band-aid fix for the horse hitbox was as flawed as the base game's one. This feature replaces the horse hitbox with an actual one by one hitbox, one facing in every direction without regularly glitching through chests, trees, and fences. Feature 2, Saddlebags. This allows your horse to carry items for you, similar to how it worked in Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town. Unlike in Friends of Mineral Town, you can take items out of the saddlebags again. Simply use the tool key on your horse while you are not holding food to open it. Feature 3, Friendship. This gives your horse a 
friendship stat like your pet or your coop and barn animals. There are various ways to increase friendship with your horse, but don't worry, there's no ways to decrease it. There's also a new menu to check out your horse, which can be opened with a configurable hotkey that is defaulted to H. The main reward for increasing your friendship with your horse is an increased movement speed. The higher the friendship with your horse, the faster it goes, and the maximum value can be adjusted in the config. There are four ways of increasing friendship. You can pet your horse once a day, you can fill its freshly fixed water trough, you can feed it an edible item, you can place a heater next to the stable to gain a small amount of friendship every day in the winter. Feature 4, Pet Menu and Pet Feeding. This simply adds the same friendship and feeding menu for the horse to also be accessible for your dog and cat. Displaying your friendship points whether or not you pet them or gave them food and water. Feature 5, Footprints. Your horse will now leave little hoof prints in the snow and dust effects on dirt or sand. This feature may seem small, but it has an incredible effect on immersion and the feeling of impact and speed. And these last five mods that I'm going to be showcasing don't need too long of an explanation, so let's go ahead and speed through these last ones, shall we? Gift Taste Helper by T Staples takes the guesswork out of gift giving. When you hover your mouse over any character on the social tab of your inventory or on their special day marked on the town calendar, this mod springs into action. By default, the mod will only show a villager's loved gifts that you have already previously given to them. But this mode can be toggled on or off via the mod's config settings. With the Gift Taste Helper mod in your folder, you'll never have to rely on memory or the Stardew Valley wiki to figure out what gifts each villager loves. Immersive Scarecrows by Aiden Thorne lets you play scarecrows and rare crows in between crops, therefore taking up no space, giving you more room to plant crops and more efficiently protecting your farm. Scarecrows will be placed on the corner closest to the mouse cursor. Immersive Scarecrows can also be passed through by the farmer. To remove a scarecrow, hover over it and press the pickup key, which by default is E. You can swap the scarecrow at any junction with another by placing it at the same junction. You can check a scarecrow range by hovering over it and holding the range check key, which by default is left alt, and you can change scarecrow's scale, opacity, and position in the config. Furthermore, we have a mod created by Private Buttface called What Are You Missing? It can sometimes be overwhelming to remember what you can find during specific seasons, days, and weather changes, so this mod aims to help you out with that problem. This mod was created with the intention of aiding the player in completing the community center and to reduce the amount of times you have to look something up on the wiki by telling you what items you're missing that are specific to a day and or season and how to get it. And it also tells you missing queen of sauce recipes. This mod is also highly configurable with options to ignore item quality, show all recipes, do not show caught fish, and etc. No Fence Decay by Cat Catty Cat makes all fences and gates last forever by repairing them every morning. This works with fences and gates placed anywhere and all fence types. Fence Decay is definitely the most tedious and annoying part of Stardew Valley for me, so this is a must have. And that my friends are all of the mods that I have compiled for today's video. I will leave them all linked below in the description box. Please let me know in the comments if you know of any quality of life mods that I didn't mention today. And if you want to see more Stardew Valley content from me, be sure to check out my TikTok. It is Mriz with five Zs. I started streaming an evil Stardew playthrough over there and it has been tons of fun and I would love to see you guys there. And as of recording this, we are about to hit 100k on TikTok. And by the time this is up, we may or may not have reached that goal, which is mind blowing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.